Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to discuss free voiceover apps or apps that can be used for free to record voiceovers for voiceover talent that's just starting out. Perhaps they're just doing castings or they're just trying to figure out if this is the field that want to get into. So I'm going to give you guys several options that you can use and why one might be a little better than the other. I'll, I'll throw some pros and cons out there for each one and you guys decide which one works best for you guys. The first app we have in front of us is, I believe it's pronounced Osin Audio. It's a free, completely free app, but the developer also has a PayPal link so you can donate for his work. And I would definitely recommend to any of these that are donationware to eventually send something because that keeps the app growing and developing. So what I like about this app, it's very simple. It is really easy to get in, start recording, and you're done. Um, here you have this tab, and you can have several audio files open at a time. It's as simple as file, new. You set your sample rate, your channel, and your resolution. Simple as that. There's your new audio. The audio that was there before, it's here. It's tabbed. Um, so here you are in the new clean slate. You could just go ahead and hit record. It'll start recording your voiceover. Um, you make a mistake, easy to stop, clean up a section, get to the end of the, the file, and you can just start recording again, and it'll pick up wherever your last edit is. Very simple to use. Um, now, this is the part where I think it's one app separates from the other. This has dynamic processing, which is a uh, compressor, expander, limiter, and noise gate, which is good. This is some of the things that you want to have when recording voiceover. You always, you know, it's always good to add a little bit of compression just to touch up the peaks. Sometimes it's, you know, you don't have to get aggressive with the compressor. You just want to get that voice to sit nice and even. Um, you never want to overprocess your voice unless you're going for that boomy radio broadcast sound where they're, you know, the compression seems to be a little bit heavier. Um, the expander, you definitely need that. It's on, it, you have a gate and an expander. The expander is going to be a little bit more gentle as it brings down the level between your words and takes. Um, not as aggressive as the gate. Um, it also has the noise gate. And if you want to put a little, you know, peak limiting at, at the end of it, you can obviously do that. Now, more, more so is you want an equalizer. Now, as you can see, as I'm popping these windows up, these plugins are pretty basic, but they'll get you there. They'll get to getting you somewhere where you can definitely edit your audio, make it sound better. So one last feature I forgot to point out is in under the effects, you have noise reduction. Um, I've never really used this noise reduction plugin, so I, I really can't speak into how good and you know but it's the typical you profile the noise and then you go in and you make your adjustments to you know reduce the noise you also have a gates setting here also so there's definitely the tools the tools are there that you can get your audio to sound better you know earlier i, I popped up the other eq the the 11 band you, you have the 31 band it, it's got plenty of adjustments here to get you you know to get your audio to sound better. Okay, this next app is called Studio One Prime. This is the free version that Personas makes. If you buy one of their audio interfaces, they make the next level up, which is Studio One Artist. The difference, there's several differences, but one of the main differences for you know voiceover talent is the Prime version does not allow you to add third-party audio plugins. The artist version does. So if you have, you know, Waves plugins or Plugin Alliance or Fab Filter, what, you know, whatever plugins you may, you know, have out there, they won't work in this version. But this app is very use usable. It's very good. Um, I like starting with an empty song. I set my audio recordings to 48, 24. 44, 16 should be enough for voiceover work to, you know, deliver. And that, that would be fine. All right, so we get started here. We go ahead and add a track. And again, I like to try to keep the interface as simple as possible. So here I'll pop up the mixer. 
I'll turn these things off over here. Don't really need them. And I'll keep this side over here set on effects just because I can grab the plugins and just drag them over. Now, the only thing you need to do, so once you get in here, is you arm the track for recording and you hit record. So now you start recording your voiceover. Um, it, again, just like the previous app, it's very easy to stop. Um, if you need to, you know, make an edit, you can go ahead and make an edit and you can just go ahead and leave the track armed and hit record again and you're recording the next uh, portion or take of your voiceover. Pretty simple to use. Um, what I like about using a digital audio workstation is that uh, something like this, you can just set it and forget it. Once you set up your project, you save that project and you can use it as your template. You don't have to go back and reset, you know, things. Now, one of the things that you'll see here is that it has the fat channel. This is an extra plugin that is part that I have part of uh, Studio Artist. This does not come with this version of the app. So when it comes to plugins for this particular app, you're going to be limited. This one, you're going to have compression and you're going to have EQ. I mean, in reality, that's that's basically all you have here. You're not going to have a gate. You're not going to have a de -esser. You're not going to have noise reduction, like some of the apps that we're going to talk about here. You want to have those plugins. You want to have the ability to EQ. You want to have the ability to compress, do some gating or expansion to help silence the room a little bit. And, you know, denoise in case you got to somehow... Uh, AC rumble or something and gets, you know, gets caught up in your voice, you want to be able to clean that up. So in this particular app, you're not going to have a lot of those tools. But again, this app will work to do a simple record, EQ, compression, and send off. So definitely an app that you want to look at. Okay, this next app should sound familiar. It's Pro Tools. It's Pro Tools first. It's the free entry level version of their app. And this should be enough to get you started and recording voiceovers with a nice set of plugins. Recording in this app is similar to Studio One. You wanna arm your track, hit record up here. And as soon as you're ready, you hit the space bar and you started recording your voiceover. Um, the second that you need to stop, you have a, a retake or something, you just go ahead and hit the space bar. Now you wanna make sure you're not on grid you want to set it to split to, I'm sorry, slip. I slipped. <laughs> um, and you can just go ahead and do your edit as soon as you're ready to record. Um, make sure you are got your record set up here. You hit the space bar. You started recording your next take. Um, it's pretty simple once you have it all set up. Um, the set of plugins that it comes with is very nice. Um, I got used to the EQ in um in avid media composer which is the same eq here it's a very useful and effective eq you can go in and you know cut out some make some sharp cuts and cut out some frequencies that are uh, room noise or uh muddiness uh resonances that just aren't pleasing um easy to make a boost add some air do a high pass to get some of the rumble out um they're Compressor is just as good. It's uh, very effective. Again, you just want to get some of those top peaks and, you know, some of these little high peaks and, and just get a tighter sound. You have the gate and expander, which is also very useful. And you also have a de which um, Studio One and Ocean Audio does not have. I mean, yeah, this is this is definitely a, a great option to get your stuff recorded and sent off. I would say that the only con is perhaps probably a steeper learning curve than the others. Um, but it's definitely a great option. Um, it does take a while in my system, at least, to start. Whenever you start up the app, it takes a while. For some reason, it scans all my plugins, but uh, Pro Tools First doesn't really allow third-party plugins. If you look at my list here, there's not a lot of plugins that are being shown up. And for some reason, again, it scans all my plugins. So it takes a while to start the app. But again, not a lot of cons on this one either. Great option if you need to get your voiceover recorded, process, and sent out.
Great app. This is the final app that I recommend and probably my favorite app. Before you freak out and look at the screen and say, wait, that's a coloring app? It is. It's DaVinci Resolve. And if you go on YouTube and you do a search, you'll see people talking about how great it is for coloring and editing. And it is. But here I am to tell you that this is probably your best free option to record voiceovers. And I'll show you why. Um, come over here to Fairlight. Now, I already did this. Uh, you can go ahead and hit Command N, and you'll set up a timeline. You'll set it to mono. You go ahead and label your timeline sequence and hit Create. Now, I already did that here. It's called voiceover casting. The next step you want to do is you want to come over here to the mixer, and you want to go ahead and hit Input. You want to select your audio one, audio one, and then hit patch, which I have already done. Same thing as the other apps. You hit record, and as soon as you're ready, go ahead and hit record, and you start recording your voiceover. Again, pretty simple. Uh, I think most of these apps are basically, you know, give you the same steps to get recorded. You go in, you edit, you do your retakes, same as the other apps. Now. Here is where I think this app shines over the rest of them. You have a nice EQ that, again, Pro Tools gave you the same type of EQ, but this is definitely better than Studio One and Ocean Audio. But here we go. We're going to get better. Um, we also have a built-in compressor. Again, the other apps had this. Here you are with uh, compression, expansion, gate. Uh, limiting. Now you go to the plugin section or the effects library and you'll see under Fairlight all the other tools you have. You have a de-esser, you have de-hummer which is great for those low frequency uh, sounds like air conditioning, uh, rumble, anything like that that you can help reduce um, you have this plugin called Dialog Processor, and here you have a strip where you basically have the D rumble, D pop, D S, compressor, expander, and excite. Um, these are great tools to have. We have also um, you have a limiter. Um, you also have the multiband compressor. If you want to do some multiband compressing and get into that, um, you have noise reduction. That'll help you reduce noise um, without third-party plugins. Um, and finally, down here, you have vocal channel. Again, I'm just adding all these to the mixer, not that I would add all of these to do my voiceover, but this I'm just showing you the tools that you have and the options that you have in this app where you can pick and choose which is the right a channel strip that you want to use. Once you set up the channel strip the way you like it, again, you save this project, it becomes your template. You come in here, you record, and you have your settings already saved as you like. And you obviously go in and tweak as you go because one day you'll hear something, another day you'll be like, wait a minute, maybe I didn't like the way that sounded. You, you know, tweak a little bit here and there. And yet you keep saving this project and you will have your channel strip the way you're used to. I'm using right now the studio version, but all this is included in the free version of the app. And you can also add um, third-party plugins to the free app or the studio app. So you have a lot of possibilities here. Um, and if you're gonna get into content creation at some point and you wanna start working into video, you got your hands in this app. So. Um, again, it's a free app. There's um, the four options that I gave you, but I would say this is probably my favorite one.